Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Do you see a friend somewhere who you haven't met yet? Is there somebody who you haven't met yet? Look around. Stand up for a quick second. Stand up if you are uh, in the mood to stand. Um, stand up and look around. See if there is a face that is new to you. And then walk right over to them. Shake a hand, give a fist bump, give an elbow bump, and wish them a Shabbat Shalom. And then what you need to participate this evening, you need a couple of different things. If you are joining us newly, you need one of these sidurim, one of these prayer booklets which can be found on the back table. And then we need, oops, we need your biggest, best singing voice. If you've got a big, best singing voice with you, raise your hand. Thank you. Who else has a big, good, strong singing voice? Caleb, excellent. If you don't have a big, strong singing voice, but you have one of these, do you have one of those? That was pretty good. Let's hear again. Repeat after me. Ready? Yeah, try again. Okay, we're getting there, you're getting there. If you are ready to welcome Shabbat, if you're excited to celebrate Shabbat, Mr. Reader is going to start with us and he is going to get us started with... What else? Bim -bam. Let's all sing Bim -bam. Hey, and I know this is a special night for kindergartners and first graders especially. 
So, if any kindergartners or first graders would like to come stand up and sing Bim Bom, that's a perfectly welcome. If you are in first grade or kindergarten and want to join us for Bim Bom, come on up. Because I, I, a lot of people know Bim Bom, but maybe grade? not everybody knows it. Third grader? So it would be good to show everybody. Your turn. Yeah. Good example, Tim. And if you could help us while we are getting warmed up, give your fingers a wiggle. Give them a stretch. Give them a Shabbat. Give them another wiggle. And now give them the Bim Bum readiness test. You ready? We're going to do one of these. Ready? Bim Bum, Bim 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 Bum, Bim 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 Bum. Bim Bum, Bim 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 Bum, Bim 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 Bum. Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Hey, Shabbat, Shalom. Hey, Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Bim bam, bim bam, bim 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 bam, bim 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 bam. Bidi 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 bim bam, bim 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 bam, bim 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 bam. Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat Shalom, hey! Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Last time. Shabbat, Shalom. Hey. Shabbat, Shalom. Hey. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Thanks to our kindergartners and our first graders and our third grader who's a tall kindergartner will say, right? And we will, when we get to that point, we will take a deep Shabbat breath in. Take one of those breaths in that comes right from the very bottom of your tummy that says, thanks God for a good week. Thanks for some quiet. Thanks for a different pace. Thanks for music. Thanks for family and for friendship and for memory. Give thanks for that as well. And tonight, we are going to ask all of you who are grandparents to come on up and help us light the Shabbat lights, the Shabbat candles. If you are a grandparent, a Saba, a Safta, a Bubi, a Zeta, a grandma, a grandpa, a Papi, a Nani. What if you're not just a grandma, but a great grandma? A great grandma. Come on up. Phyllis, come on up. <laughs> And, and all of us get to look and appreciate and be warmed by the fact that how we are and who we are and how we are in community starts with this great group and all the generations that come before them and they make us stronger and better and wiser and more loving than we could ever imagine. So we invite you, please. We had that was an amen. That was an amen. We we invite you please to take the small candle. Come closer so we can have you all together as we kindle the Shabbat lights and please you can join us as well once the bracha is said. And we say, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who commands us to light, to kindle the Shabbat lights. Thank you. Come on down. Okay. 
And we come together on Shabbat to say thank you, to be appreciative, to lift up this day, this evening, above the other days and the other evenings during the week, and we say thank you. So if you are under the age of bar or bat mitzvah, tell us something for which you are thankful this week. What is it this week that made you go, ah, that was nice, that was good. What do you have? Thank you for the world. What else? You can think of some other ones? Daniel, what do you have? What was a good something that made you go, ah, thank you? Thank you for the end of school. That's right. Thank you for the end of school. Just for today, because we're just getting started. Yeah. Please. Thank you for baseball. We won't get into partisan baseball here, but thank you for baseball. Yeah. Okay, we'll pass next time. Thank you for God. That's one of my favorites as well. Excellent. Tova, what, what made you go, ah, thank you, this week? Anything that you're thinking of? Not yet. Okay, we'll come back. Caleb, what about you? What are you thankful for? Thank you for delicious fingers, right? They're delicious. Yeah. Gentlemen, what about you? Anything that you're thankful for? Not yet? Thank you. Thank you for your friends. Thank you for a, a house guest from Israel. We're glad to have our Shin Shinim here. If you haven't met all of our Shin Shinim from Israel yet, be sure to, uh, to stick around and to meet, uh, to meet all of them who are here. Yeah. Thank you for? For cousins. Thank you for cousins. Excellent. Excellent. So we, we gather up all of those thank yous as we head into Shabbat. And we gather all of those up and all of that good energy. And we prepare to stand and, and uh, call ourselves to worship in the Bar Hu. We turn to page four in our Sidur for our call to worship. Together, prayer is reaching for God. When we pray, we think about our lives. Reaching for God, we can make a difference. One me, one you, caring for each other. One mitzvah helps us to do more mitzvot. One Torah to study. One Shabbat each week. And one God. And we are going to turn to the Shema, and we're going to sing the Shema. We're going to pray the Shema together. And does anybody know what special thing we do when we pray the Shema. Does anybody know? There's something important that we do. Yeah. We do. We say the prayer. There's something that we do differently with our face. Does anybody know? We cover it, right? So we, cover, we either cover our eyes or we close our eyes. Some people I saw, you made a shin, right? Some people, can you do this? What does this look like? Some of us would say the number three, right? But if you look, it looks like the letter shin, right? The first letter of shma, which sounds like shh. So we quiet ourselves so that we can pray the shma, we can listen, and God can hear us, and we can hear God better. Shem 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 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 Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad And please be seated. We listen and we love and we hear and we feel our prayer is meant to be through us and then out of us as well, that we live what we are praying. So as we turn to the words of the Ve'ahavta, we say, Torah teaches us to love God. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha. And how do we love God? You can go like this, put your hand on your heart. Bechol levavacha. We should love God with all our heart. Give yourself a big hug. Uvechol nafshecha. We should love God with all our soul. And go like this. Strong arms. Uvechol meodecha. We should love God with all our might. And so I have some questions for you. We say, when we love our parents and our brothers, we say, whom do we love God? But I want to ask you, how do we know... How do we know that we are loving someone or they are loving us? How do you know that somebody loves you? They say kind things. You, you, they say kind things? Yeah. yeah, they say, it's, it's beautiful, right? They say kind things and, and hopefully we can too, right? right? What else? How do you know that we love, how do you, how do you love someone? How do you, how do you tell or express to somebody or share with somebody that you love them? What's one of the ways? Meeting them first, right? Getting to know them, right? Getting to know them. What else? What might you help them do? Might you help them with something to show them that you love them? Could you help them with something that's difficult? Could you support them when something is difficult? Could you tell them they did a great job when something was new for them? Or hard. Or hard, right? Right, right, right. How many of you have a pet? Does anybody have a pet? What kind of pet do you have? A dog. What about you? A cat. Dog. Dog. You guys live in the same house. I'm hoping it was the same animal. Yes. A dog and a cat. A dog and a cat and 12 fish. A dog and a cat and a 12 I feel like this is one of those games. I went on a trip and, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. A crazy dog. That needs some extra loving. Who else has a pet at home? So what, when you have a pet at home, how do you show your pet that you love them? How do you show your parents and your pet that you love them? Yeah. What were you going to say? How do you show your... No. Yeah. How do you show your pet that you love them? You pet them, right? You pet your pet, right? You pet your pet. You take care of them. You feed them. You take them for a walk, right? Right, right, right. And how does it make... Yeah. Pet her and feed her, right? And how... How does it make, and hold them, right? How does it make you feel when you do those good things for your, for your pet? Sorry, not you. How does it make you feel when you do those good things for your pet? Does it feel like you're doing something good, something important? Yeah, right? That's how we show our love. That's, how, that's one of the other ways that we show our love, right? When we're hopeful, when we're helpful, when we're thankful, that's how we do it. So there was a time when our ancestors, the people who lived way before us, didn't know how things were going to go, and they were thankful, and they were grateful because God helped them. And we sing, Mi Hamocha, you will find that on page 8, we sing, Mi Hamocha, to share how wonderful, how great, and how thankful we are. Page 8 is where you'll find Mi Hamocha. (laughs) 
啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦，呀啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦，呀啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦，呀啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Mi kamo chaba eli madonai, mi kamo chane da bakodesh. No rati hilot o sefele, no rati hilot o sefele. Malchut echara uvanecha, bokei al yam lefnei Moshe u Miriam. Zeli anu ve'amru, zeli anu ve'amru. Adonai mo le'olam vae. Adonai mo le'olam vae. Now mi chamocha again. Mi chamocha vae li madona. Mi chamocha neda vakodesh. No rati hi lo to sefele. No rati hi lo to sefele. Now keep clapping to yalla las. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. Ya la 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 la. How many of you like going to bed? All the adults. All the adults hands on. How many of you don't like going to bed? How many of you like that moment when you first climb into bed and you pull your blanket up over you and it's all warm and cozy and you say, ah, right? We say, thanks. Thanks for this kind of warmth and this kind of cover. We say literally and figuratively, right? Just thank you. So we pray on Shabbat especially. We say, Hashki Venu, God, watch over us at night. Keep us in your sight. Be with us when we're home and bless us with shalom. I'm on page nine if you want to join me. We pray to remind ourselves that we need to be partners with God to make the world a better place for everybody. And we pray for a world with people all living together in peace. Okay. Let's sing a song for peace. O se shalom. Oh, say shalom bim roma. Who ya say shalom aleinu? Ve al kol Yisrael. Vimru, vimru, amen. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom. Shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom. Shalom Aleinu Ve'alkol Yisrael I think I offered up too many visions of snuggling. I see a lot of snuggled in kids and want to be snuggled in adults. If you want to come and sit on the floor right in front of me, right on the, at the bottom of the steps. For those who are willing and able, you can come sit for the story. Just come sit right in front, if you would. Come sit right here, sir. Come on over and sit if you want to see the story, if you want to see the, the pictures in the book. How many of you know this great book? Who knows Sammy Spider? Linda, you know Sammy Spider. You know Sammy Spider. Parents and grandparents, if you don't know the Sammy Spider set, they come for every holiday. They are amazing, and I would highly recommend them. Who wants to hear about Sammy Spider? How many of you know Sammy Spider? Yeah. How many of you have any spidery fingers? What do you do for your spidery fingers? What do you do? Do you do this? Do you ever do this one? What song do you know for spiders? That's the one I was thinking of. Say it again. Should we do that one later, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Do you think Sammy the Spider knows that one? This is Sammy Spider's first Shabbat. Ready? 
Early Friday morning, Sammy Spider looked at the Shapiro's kitchen window. Josh was turning on the garden hose, and suddenly, a spray of water hit the window, and Sammy jumped back, snapping a strand of his web. Mother, he called as he began to fall, and Mrs. Spider caught Sammy mid-air. What's Josh doing, Sammy asked, catching his breath. He's watering the flower beds, she explained. Tonight, when the family gathers for Shabbat dinner, Mrs. Shapiro will put fresh flowers on the table. How many of you have fresh flowers on your table? You sometimes have fresh flowers on your kitchen table? Sometimes? Well, we ce- will we celebrate Shabbat too, Sammy asked. Silly little Sammy, answered Mrs. Spider. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders. <laughs> spiders. This is your part. Ready? Going to practice this? Can you say spiders spin webs? You try. Spiders spin webs. You got to try it one more time because it comes up again. Try again. One, two, three. Spiders spin webs. And you need to fix the new hole in ours. I'll fix it later, said Sammy. He was busy watching Mr. Shapiro unpack a bag full of groceries for Shabbat dinner. Sammy looked down at all of the food. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he said. But when he saw his torn web reflected in the wine bottle, he remembered his mother's words. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders. Okay, adults, you're doing a phenomenal job. (laughs) Spiders. Okay, let's try it one more time. Spider. How about only the grown-ups? Ready? Silly Sammy Spider. We don't celebrate. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. Do you think you guys can do that? I think you can. I know there are a lot more of them. It's not fair. I'll fix it later, thought Sammy, following Josh into the dining room. Josh put the bottle of wine on the table. He took out the kiddush cups and candlesticks and put them next to the wine, and he put the candles into the candlesticks. The tablecloth reminded Sammy of a huge spider web, and he remembered the hole in his web, and he said, I'll fix it later. Instead, he wandered back into the kitchen, and Josh had finished lunch, and he was helping Mrs. Shapiro make, what do you think they were making? A challah, that's right. So she kneaded the dough. What does it look like when you knead the dough? How do you push down on the dough? What does it look like? Just like that. Do you push down on the dough? Do you use your hands? Yeah. Yeah. And she divided it into three parts. She rolled each strip and placed them side by side. Mrs. Shapiro took one strip and crossed it over the middle strip. And then she took another strip and crossed it back the other way. Left over the middle, then right over the middle, she said. And then she did this again and again until the bread was what? What shape is that? Who knows what shape that looks like? Like a braid, right? Sammy watched carefully, left over the middle, then right over the middle, he repeated, practicing on the strands of his web. The effort made him tired, and he started to fall asleep. And while Sammy slept, Josh went up to his bedroom, and it was time to clean up his toys. Sammy woke up to the sound of music, and the sun was setting. The Shapiros were gathered around the dinner table singing, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. That's the song they were singing. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, Sammy thought, as he watched Mrs. Shapiro light the candles and recite the blessing. Everyone sang the blessings over the wine and the challah, and Mrs. Spider crawled over to Sammy and gave him a hug and said, My goodness, you fixed our web. To his surprise, Sammy saw that the web had been neatly braided, just like that Shabbat challah. Sammy listened while Mr. Shapiro read Josh a bedtime story. He climbed up his web and he fell asleep. And the next morning, Sammy watched Josh get dressed for temple. He chose his favorite sweater and kippah. And when the Shapiros left for Shabbat services, Sammy climbed up his web and noticed a tiny hole. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he told his mother. But I guess I need to fix our web again. I remember how. Left over the middle and right over the middle. And I guess I'll do it now. Oh no, smiled Mrs. Spider. Shabbat is our day of rest. You can fix it later.
When you rest on Shabbat, how is your rest different than when you go to sleep? Do you do anything that's restful and calm? Is that what you use to rest? Is that a restful thing for you? What do you do to relax for Shabbat that might be a little bit different than during the week? Yeah. Do you read a book? Right? How many of you get to sleep in on Shabbat? Right? Moms and dads, how many of you get to sleep in on Shabbat? Right? 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 So sometimes we sleep a little bit longer. Sometimes we do maybe a craft project. Yeah. You don't go to school, that's kind of restful, right? And what else? Do you maybe spend more time at the breakfast table on Saturday morning? Yeah? yeah. So Mr. Reader thought he might have a song for Sammy Spider? Or maybe the song? For maybe the spider song? Okay. Yeah, should we do that one? Well, do, gosh, let's do, do you want to get your itsy bitsy Shabbat spider hands out? And think maybe what Mr. Um, Mr. Sammy Spider must have been looking like when he was putting together his spider web. You ready? So sometimes for the itsy bitsy spider, people do this where they do their pinky to their thumb like that. I think that's kind of hard. So for the Shabbat spider version, let's just go like this. And you can do a spider like this because I think that's better. Okay, we go like this. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. So next time you see a spider in your house, or maybe hopefully outside your house, maybe it's Sammy and you should invite him in for Shabbat. What do you think? <laughs> Moms and dads are thinking, no way. But you think maybe he's celebrating Shabbat. Thank, thank you. Well, we'll come at the very, yeah? Yeah. My mom has a big spider. A big spider. Yeah, we love finding those at home. They're awesome. They're awesome. That's right. That's right. Thanks, everybody, for helping me with the story. You can return to your seats. And we are... We are going to continue now. We're going to share some. Pardon? It's dripping. Thank you. I appreciate it. We are going to, uh, to take a few minutes now. We're going to think of the people in our community. Maybe somebody you know who's not feeling very well. Somebody who has been sick. Somebody who maybe got hurt for adults. Somebody who is in need of healing, of wholeness, of strength of courage, of patience, and, uh, and let's hold them in our prayers as we say, may God who blessed Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, give strength, give courage, give patience, give healing and wholeness where possible to those who are struggling. So anybody in particular have a name for Mishaberach that you would like to share for anybody who is in need of, of healing, of strength, of wholeness. As I look your way, please would you share that name aloud? Please join us as we turn to page 13. We pray for restoration to good, strong health. of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen Be Abraham, 
Bless those in need of healing with refuah shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say amen. And let us say Amen. We keep all of those who are in need of healing, of wholeness, of strength in our prayers throughout Shabbat, throughout the week, always. And, uh, and we wish them, them all, all the best, all, all of the best of what they need. It is for us, we turn from times of difficulty in the same Shabbat service to times of happiness, of celebration, of joy. We are ever mindful of how things are circular and cyclic. So if you have a birthday, an anniversary, a celebration in the month of September, or Elul, the month of Elul, raise your hand for us if you've got something special that happens in September for you. Renee, birthday, birthday. Anniversary. anniversary. Are you both putting your hand up for that one? Yeah, anniversary, right? Yeah. <laughs> birthday. 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 Anniversary. anniversary. Nice. Birthday of a child. Birthday. Bir Happy birthday today. Happy birthday, Barbara. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Excellent. So we are so grateful. We're so thankful to reach this Shabbat and this season with you. And we give thanks by saying the Shekhianu, by praying the Shekhianu, and having God sustain us until this time, this season. Join us, please, in the Shekhianu. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Shehechianu v'kimanu v'hegianu l'asman hazeh Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'hegianu l'asman hazeh on page 16 some prayers to offer to your son or your daughter and moms and dads who are here with your adult children feel free to offer them a blessing as well either the blessing that can be listed at the top of the page or whatever you hope and pray for your children and then we'll share the Yivarechecha And then we offer the priestly benediction as we say, May God bless you and may God keep you. May the light of God shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the presence of God be with you and give you peace. Yeah. We say, to that. May that be God's will and we wish you always and only the best of peace and love and health. Please join us as we turn to our concluding prayers. The Elena, if you're able, please join us as we rise and turn to page 17. Vanachnu kori umishtachavim umodim Lifne mele lalhe hamlachim Hakadosh baruch hu Venemar vehaya Adonai Lemele pal kol haaretz Vayom hahu Bayom Hahu, Yeye Adonai Echa, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo Echa.
And please be seated as we turn to our concluding song. If you are in kindergarten, if you are in first grade, or if you are just eager to join us in our closing song, come up to the front. And if you don't want to stand on the front step, but you want to use one of our shaky eggs for our final song, take a shaky egg, and then at the end of the service, we bring these back, okay? Gilad would like one. Walk, walk all the way, just walk all the way down. And our closing song, if you are in kindergarten or first grade, come on up. Adults, there are enough shaky eggs for you to use too. They feel good. I recommend them. And you can, for our closing song, you can sit, you can stand, you can wiggle, you can dance, you can seat dance. Any of those are fine. There are official hand motions for this song, but unofficial motions are very welcome as well. We're going to do O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. Ve Alkuba. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. O Diavo Shalom Aleinu. Ve Alkuba. Salam, Aleinu ve'al kol ha'olam Salam, Salam Salam, Aleinu ve'al kol ha'olam Salam, Salam Oh, Yavu Shalom Aleinu Oh, Yavu Shalom Aleinu Oh, Yavu Shalom Aleinu Shalom, everybody. Two quick announcements just before you return your percussion eggs to the basket. Um, if you would join us just at the back table outside the social hall, we will make kiddush and motzi together. We'll do that as a congregation. And then please join us for dinner. Whether you let us know or not, join us for dinner, a kid-friendly dinner in the social hall. We wish you a Shabbat Shalom. So, and there are activities in the social hall for the little ones as well, but come help us make kiddush and motzi.
bath bath forty five? No. Oh, seven months. Yeah. Three hours. Yeah. No, that's not what that is. That means how that's how often they have to pee. What was that? I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny though. Yeah, so that's how often they get a bottle. Or enjoy ongoing. Enjoy ongoing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
duck these out, put fresh candles in it. We won't run into the dishwashing again. Some of this wax off the bag. And then we'll reset it. We get ready for tonight's service at 8.
that clear glass tray. You can bring that real quick. Yeah. I had just came off the wash, so I'm not even by the dishwasher. It's just a glass um, little rectangle. Grab that stuff off that table.
No, that's Alex. He has to put it away. Mm -hmm. Alex. Oh, he has to. <clears throat> he just has to, um, you know, put it away. Mm -hmm. 